Welcome to the Seraphine Podcast. I'm Seraphina Rocha, and I'm again with Chelsea Atia. How are you, Hi, beauty? Hi, I'm good. Uh, I'm so excited for this series we are doing. Me too. We wanted to do more reviews, but we also wanted to have a little bit of fun because we love fashion, we love California, and we love all things that have hill in it. So why not right. review the hills? Mm-hmm. I love it. So we're going to dive right in to the new season of the hills, New Beginnings. This season, we've got Audrina, we've got Heidi, we've got Spencer, we've got Justin, we've got Brody, we've got Frankie, we've got Jason, we've got Brandon, we've got Caitlin. The ones that are kind of missing are Misha Barton. We may be lucky to get Whitney Port back and Stephanie Pratt, but we'll see. I don't know if and we... Kristen. She's oh yeah, coming Kristen. back. Oh, that's right, that's right. I can't that's wait a for big, that. That's big, a big deal. One. We that's love Kristen. I'm um, high. We've got an uncommon James candle, and we love love. I everything cannot with her. believe she agreed to do this show. Oh, I think it's fantastic. I and do too. I can't wait till she stirs it up. I she know. made a little cameo last year but I really hope she's in it more often and um kudos on her new skin line I can't wait to try it it's I gonna know. be so great I know so cool so we start this out this episode's called burying the past and we start out with Brody who mm-hmm. by the way oh my god Brody losing weight and yeah. uh he's got the the her the surfer guy hair yeah um divorce is doing him okay I think I he was not enjoying being married you could tell from no. the first season of the hills new beginnings he was just not into it he likes his freedom and you can tell he loves the women totally and he's Mm -hmm. he's more on for the camera yeah it's funny last season I could really tell he was agitated yeah and he seemed like annoyed constantly I agree and then he was drunk half the time and this season he's like showering like the opening (laughs) the opening like scene is him showering with his like hair his glistening hair triangle oh, triangular hair his tri- yeah he's got to be careful or else he's going to get it's lore. going to, it's going to look good when it gets a little bit longer it's yeah. just at this point it needs a little shape yeah i love his hair though when it's like the last season when it just has the the shorter curls yeah he's got great hair he he's literally hair goals for every man right. but he must watch out with the lord farquat vibes when it gets like yeah. right in the middle it's a little strange it is but we're, we're again we're, we're giving you mad props on losing the weight, looking yeah. good. And giving up alcohol. Yes. It's, a good, good, it's it a good thing to do. Yeah. Even if it's temporary. Right. <laughs> I don't know how long he'll see, we'll ha- he'll do it for, but we're yeah. rooting for him. So we start out with him having a little like barbecue party. And yeah. this was a real barbecue. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. This was an actual barbecue as opposed yeah. to like the Beverly Hills Housewives who their barbecues are never a barbecue. No. But he does this thing to where he... Obviously, you can tell he's really into whatever kind of mysticism. I don't know if he's a yogi. I don't know if he's into Reiki. I don't know. But he does the whole thing of let's shed something. Let's bury it. Yeah. So he asks everybody to bring something to bury. Yeah. And um, let's just say we know that we are in the hills with this list of things that people are shedding. And we're kind of getting insight in how everybody's life is. So Brody, Brody. What he buries is Don Julio 1942. <laughs> Poor Brody. I mean, I wish I could just bury bottles of Don Julio 1942. But I guess, uh, knock on wood, I'm not an alcoholic, so I guess that's a good thing. But yeah. I still was kind of like, Brody, come on. But he did bury it, and he did it for a good cause. Yeah. Then we have Brandon, who almost is just as bad. He he's buried, a mini Brody, He's for sure. a mini Brody. He buries a $100 bill. Yeah, uh, you know, again, love it. Maybe you could have donated or, or right. drawn one hundred dollars. Exactly. A little strange. Um, we've got Jason Waller. Um, let's talk about a party here. We've got Don Julio, a hundred bucks, and now we've got Adderall. Yeah. in there. I mean, if you want a good Friday night, let me tell you, go <laughs> look for that little place they buried it in the hills. I'm sure you'd find it. Um, Audrina. Um, uh, the I didn't bit, really get it. I, I don't either. Like it, it felt like she was a little afraid. I actually wanted her to have a big black book. She should yeah. have written Ryan Cabrera, Justin yes. Bobby. Um, maybe not Corey because that's not nice to her baby. But yeah. like you know the her repetitious cycle. It just didn't like read quite well. No, but I I understood what she was, she was wanting to let go of the past. Yes, move forward. Yes, uh, the, the past. The right. past boyfriends. I she had. She's like pathologically goes back to 
her exes. Yes. I, I don't understand. Ryan Cabrera? What the heck? I know. He, no, He's I know. Not, he never was cute. No. Let it go. Let, Let it, it go. go. <laughs> like, goodbye. Then we have, um, oh, God. Justin Bobby, who is borderlining getting weird like Johnny Depp. Please, yeah. Justin, you're still like on my radar, but you're starting to get that mumbly like, uh, it's uh, the chain thing, the gold chain. Yeah, he is a lot like Johnny Depp. He honestly reminds me also of, have you ever seen Practical Magic? Yes. He reminds me of like Nicole Kidman's boyfriend from oh, that. God, yeah, from he that totally movie. does. Weird and mysterious. And yeah, and a little, I don't know. But but I love how he talked about COVID. Yeah, how we split to he Mexico. Split. I mean, his like, I was like, you sound so douchey right now. Oh, God. I mean, I went to Mexico and, and I, I undid the chains. Dude, I again, I want, I want to like you. He but plays like, the part so well. For he wants everyone to know him as like, I hate being tied down. I'm such a free spirit. I just go and do my. I'm a nomad. He plays oh that God. part like that's what he wants people. To he do. wants to be Jax Taylor on yeah. Sons of Anarchy. Um, exactly. Except he's got Johnny Depp like mumbles. <laughs> then we've got <laughs> Spencer, AKA Pratt Daddy. Love him. Love him in his Gucci poncho. I actually own that Gucci poncho. Do you really? I'm not the exact one color wise, but it's like the tan one. I almost wore it, but it's really warm. Um, it is a blanket. He buries, Chelsea, you do the honors. He buries, what does he bury? Pot pie. Pot pie. Oh my God. I'm like drawing a really I love she's like, what does he bury? And he's eating <laughs> it as he throws it in there. Like, I mean, oh my God. He cracks me up so much. I watched the scene of him later in this episode with, or actually I think it was episode two yeah. with Heidi like five times. Oh I, my God. I was crying laughing and couldn't stop. He's so he's, pleasantly plump right now. He he's the so cutest. Plump. I mean, he really is. And then, uh, and then Heidi kind of, again, she kind of pulls... Um, we're also reviewing the Beverly Hills Housewives. She kind of pulls an Erica like at the party of like Debbie Downer. Yeah. And she throws her her ba birth control in there and she's like, Jesus, I want, really want to have a baby. I need to have a baby. And we're like, OK, OK. And the party's over. Yeah. So, you know, again, I totally feel for her, but I also feel like she's got to calm it down with the baby thing. And she's not going to, we already know that. Right. That, that's <laughs> like their, her main, that's the main, uh, story storyline. It's going to yeah. be the story arc, mm -hmm. but we get it full and effect on the first episode. Yeah. So then, um, you know, we go into, um, let's see. Oh gosh. We go, it, well, then they go right into Heidi and Spencer and she comes in with a buttload of pregnancy tests. Okay. MTV producers here. I mean, we get it. Like, it's, I, I like the, sh like, sticky comedy. Yeah. But, like, that was an obscene amount of pregnancy tests. There is no way in hell that she bought that many pregnancy tests. Yeah. I don't believe it for no. one instant. It seemed a little strange, but she dumps it all out. Her interview outfit, by the way, shout out to Cami M NYC. I'm a huge fan, fan of them. They do these really beautiful, delicate, like, silk or satin camis. And, you know, Heidi, I... Even though she kind of Barbie-fies herself sometimes, she yeah. really looks so good in these. And I she love does. her interview outfits. Yeah. Um, we've got the awkward kind of Brody Caitlin thing. Yeah. You know what's crazy is all the Jenners and, and Linda, his mom, they all remain friends with their exes. Yes. Like Linda, his mom, still talks to Caitlin Jenner, who was formerly Bruce Jenner. And... Um, Brandon Jenner, the oldest brother. Uh -huh. Okay, so he was married to Leah Jenner. They had a baby and then they broke up and now he's married to someone else and they have twins and the women are friends. I they call know. themselves sister sister moms or something like that. Oh my God. I am so, I am so blown away by this because Dude. number one, that would never happen in my house. My husband would be like, we are never talking to your ex-boyfriend. Yeah. I have too much jealousy in me too. Um, it would have to be like really rare if he had a kid with someone, maybe. Yeah. But you are much better people than I am the Jenners. I don't know how they do it. I, I actually really admire it because the fact that like he, 
like he, I just don't think that they're mean people. I think that Brody is a very nice person. Yeah. And and once Caitlin, like he, they just realized that they were better off apart than they were together. And I I really like that he invited her to his barbecue and like she's. I mean, part of that's probably because of the show. But yeah. Um, I really liked it. I think I think it shows a lot about their character. I think that they're really nice people. I do too. I'm I'm hoping Caitlin gives us a little per- more personality than she did last season. Um, I th- I I really do too because she seemed a little bit like last season she was all over what Brody was doing. Yeah, and wasn't really focused on like. I don't think she allowed herself to have fun. No, she was always worried about what Brody was doing. Yeah. And um, she she tried to keep like Brody away from Spencer and and all that. I don't know. Just- it was it was a lot of like, uh, and again, if we're if we're gonna go down the road of like she's experimenting with her bisexuality or yeah. if she is a lesbian, I think she right. hasn't really she hasn't really defined like you know where she's at. Maybe maybe she doesn't have to. She really yeah. doesn't. No. Um, but I have to say she she felt she did feel closeted she felt closeted in her relationship yeah she felt closeted as a person yeah she felt like she was in the dark and I feel like you know it's interesting that even now she's still a little tentative I'd like yeah. to see her like actually smile and have some fun I know me too I'm afraid she's gonna be like tentative and like a little bit of like Maybe she'll get we'll get sass from her for being having an attitude. Yeah. But I really hope we get to see a little bit of joy in yeah, her. I do too. Um, so then we've got um oh and PS. I love how they threw in Dua Lipa and Miley Cyrus's prisoner song on this yes. episode. I know. I was like Okay, we, we we really know that Hot Girl Summer happened and went down without them saying Miley Cyrus's name. Right. Um, and then Dua Lipa is, it's basically a song that is about two women together kind of in a in a really sexy way. Um, very great song. I love it. I use it all the time in my workouts, in my classes. Um, <laughs> so Audrina is set up with Sean Stewart. Oh my God. I couldn't believe that that's who they set her up with i i'm sorry but i thought i did not see this at all i i do see it coming from spencer and heidi because they are well i do from that but for audrina oh, who I is know. such a babe like she is she hasn't aged at all she's so cute and her ex-boyfriends and ex-husband they're all attractive totally and then sean stewart you know what i think that they were going for is sean stewart is kind of quirky a little goofy yeah and he reminds me of spencer a little bit in the terms of yeah. like he's he's <laughs> he's kind of like the uh, he is the reformed bad boy in in a in an older guy way Who, um, sean stewart or yeah sean spencer. stewart well yeah. and spencer is too yeah they both i mean spencer was a prick and a half he in the very was. beginning i did not like him no he is so funny now at least now he's he's got funniness he still can be a prick but he does yeah. it with a little tongue-in-cheek yeah i think sean stewart though it was so funny because you know we have these smoldering guys like Brody Jenner yeah and we have Justin Bobby you know and then you've got like guy in the black turtleneck with the black who does uh, like the Muay Thai (laughs) at dinner and he calls it Muay Poo I mean like everything he does with her so dorky oh my god and then whenever there's that whenever they're like having lunch with Heidi and Spencer and he's talking about how much he loves kids and all that stuff oh I'm like you're really playing it up for Audrina. I know you oh, like her. We he know he did like it on her. the first date. He yeah. was talking about being from a family and divorce and how he's yeah. never going to get divorced. Yeah. And again, mad freaking props, mad props to him being a good guy. Yeah. I mean, I can tell that he sees that Audrina's been through it all. Yeah, that's um, true. That is so true. So I'm, I'm down with that. I think I he, want her to be with someone good. I do too. And who knows? Maybe he'll grow on us in the cuteness category that's true he's just a little like goofy right now and that exchange with the mouye do stuff was it was awkward but i also think mtv and its producers were like let's do something like this oh totally i just think he's so different than anyone audrina's ever dated and i think that's probably a good thing totally then we've got uh oh my gosh that what i love is is seeing Brandon's interview, by the way, um, his Givenchy like pullover was very like 1970s dad look. Yes. But he can kind of pull it off. He can. I think he's cool. I like him as an addition on the show, partly because I love, I think it's really right now because his parents are Pamela Anderson and Tommy Lee. And there's a movie coming out about Pam and Tommy. Oh, that's going to be called so Pam and Tommy, I think. And I think it's, it, I love to hear about how they are as parents. Oh my God. Pam is so maternal and she lives in Paris full time. I know. I had no idea. This was from season one of The Hills New Beginnings that I learned this. But 
and he's he, for a 22 year old he's pretty mature he, yeah he he's got it together and i he uh, does he he's the hopeless romantic he said it multiple times just like his mother totally but i but i have to say the scenes that they set up for this poor kid are not doing him any justice yeah. so they have like a throwaway scene that they're painting brody's like i, I think it's his Garage. garage yeah and then they talk about this girl daniela who was in season one and and daniela is really young she's like a she's baby super beautiful young. she is but you know what i think someone brody would go after oh totally even at 37 you are so right yeah you are so justin so right. bobby said i would never bring my girl in this group of guys because we're oh. all just a bunch of like wolf yes wolf in sheep's clothing it is hilarious but what really is kind of weird about this episode episode though is is when he takes Daniela to the picnic and then he's like let yeah. me show you something he doesn't show her anything he plays a weird song he sings yeah and I mean it's like this kind of weird monotone country rock song yeah it's about <laughs> her I guess I mean again love you Brandon you're super cute but um like MTV's producers have got to give this kid a, a little bit more fun and yeah. like I, I you know I I saw in the see the next episode he's gonna throw like a poker party yeah so hopefully that will be more exciting yeah. for him yeah um and then we we kind of wrap this whole episode up with our faves um the pratt daddy family and <laughs> oh my god so funny i mean this scene has got so much going on and it's not it's not a big scene i mean it's only five minutes long yeah but we've got heidi who is in <laughs> all her beautiful mommy curves i love her bod looks great it does it she really does. looks awesome she does i love her and anyone who freaking shames that girl on social media uh, grow the f up because yeah. she looks amazing now spencer on the other hand we <laughs> love you spencer and we love your little your little buddha belly with your crystals on it with your pot pie resting in the middle of your chest but you as heidi's walking <laughs> out in lingerie and he's sitting on his bed eating a pot pie i mean <laughs> i mean it's just crazy and then we finally have this interaction <laughs> that is i actually think was really vulnerable with Heidi where mm -hmm. she's talking about the desire to have kids um what was really hard about this for me is is that she's in this really strange place that I think all women get to I I was in it a couple times to where I really wanted to have kids I unfortunately haven't had kids um and then you're also kind of fighting like trying to keep this kind of persona of this beautiful young gorgeous wife yeah. and being a mom and then especially in LA oh god i it would be exhausting yeah i can't even imagine yeah me neither and then her crying now this is the thing about beautiful women i think we are so hard on ourselves and sometimes we just go a little too far with botox yeah well, she's notorious for going a little too overboard with plastic surgeries and injectables and things like that. Her her tears turned into a stroke face. Yeah. I love Poor her so thing. much. I was like, I want I'm like, you're so beautiful. I know. She has got a lot of insecurities. She really does. Yeah. And I and I hope she knows that she's got a bunch of people rooting for her. Yeah. And that, you know, no matter what, I have I am um a culprit of doing too much Botox and I have had some ugly ass cries. Um, but in the next breath, I, I really feel like she is somebody who's got a good heart on her and you can tell she's a good mom. I agree. Oh, she is. She, Spencer says like multiple times, she is the best mom. Every, I guess Gunner wakes up like every hour and she's oh up with him every single hour. He said that she hasn't gotten a full night of sleep since he was born. No wonder. And she, she and he, he said like Gunner is heavy. I can't even hold him. And she has him in her arms all day. That's insane. I know. I mean, no wonder she's a thermos of Vuv. Yeah. I mean, I would too. I'd be like, oh, oh, I love you, kid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Well, I'm really excited to see how this whole Hills New Beginnings unfolds. I cannot wait to see some cameos from our faves like Kristen. Kristen. Oh my gosh. Oh. It's going to be it's so good. It's only Elsie would get on there but she's totally never gonna go on i there know again, i know ever. she's it's so done and over with mm -hmm. but um i am looking forward to see what is gonna happen with audrina i really root for her me too um i don't she's know a good girl i we didn't really talk about jason and his wife well i think they've got more stuff coming in the second yeah. episode um and then freddie 
I, you know, I, I, the thing about having casts of characters, I really hope they flesh out something with poor Freddie and his wife this year. Frankie? Or Frankie. Yeah. Sir, see? I didn't even get his name right. See? Yeah. Editors on the hills, you need to capture our attention because he yeah. seems like a cool guy, and his, he does seem like a yeah. cool guy. And his wife is gorgeous. Oh, I know, and she seems really. I, I, she seems like she would be good on this show because she kind of she has more of a personality on the show than Frankie does. Totally, I think we'll see how it goes. But yeah. I, I have to say, so far loving it. Me too, and it's going to be so good. We're gonna we're gonna be filling you in on all the things that have to do with SoCal. If yes. you like this episode, please like, hit subscribe at the bottom, and tell us your thoughts on the F Hills first episode if you'll be watching. And if you like all things California, you can also check out our Beverly Hills Housewives review as well. Thank you so much, and much love from me and Chelsea. See you later.